hi guys Linda here welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is Linda and I'm filming this video from Lagos Nigeria so guys in today's video I'm gonna be comparing two hair types and that is the Chinese raw hair right here and the Vietnamese baby thin hair how does how does these two hair differ from one another how, how is these two hair similar I'm just gonna start from um, the basic features that you guys can actually see so you can see this one right here is the Chinese raw hair or this is the Vietnamese baby thin hair so the first thing you need to know about the Chinese hair is hair gotten from China tends to be packed in this manner it is rolled in a circular form and in most cases tied with a rubber band or tied with like a shiny plastic or or like a colorful fabric so this one right here is it was packed in a circular manner whereas the vietnamese hair was packed in this rectangular manner and held together with these um, white bands that you can see so that's one of the basic things you, you need to take note of when it comes to us um, how chinese hair is being packed and how Vietnamese hair is being packed. So let's now delve into other features of, of, of the hair when it comes to what's like the texture of these hair types. So most definitely the Chinese, um, the Vietnamese hair, the texture of the Vietnamese hair, the Vietnamese hair is definitely more softer than that of the Chinese hair. The Chinese hair has a thicker, the Chinese hair has thicker, like the strands of the Chinese hair is thicker. Like it feels, it's really, really thick on like when you compare it's the Vietnamese hair. You know, normally people tend to, people used to avoid buying processed hair from China because the strands of the processed hair from China do not feel good. And those are the hairs they tend to categorize as the 6A hair, 9A hair, 10A, 12A, 15A, and all of all that. Because most times those hairs that are graded, that are chai, that are being sold, that are being bought from China are actually not the real Chinese raw hair. But this one right here, which is actually hair gotten from a Chinese young lady, is a Chinese raw hair. And for that reason, you start to see that okay, it actually has the texture that a Chinese person's hair tends to have, which is which is actually Chinese people have a very tough hair texture. Their hair is not the the smoothest of hair because you just see that most times hair, when you just see their hair standing and their hair texture is not like um it's not it's not it's not as it's not as smooth as the way you would see like a Filipino hair or as smooth as the Vietnamese hair is the, the, the texture of the Chinese hair is definitely much more coarse than the Vietnamese hair and take notes Chinese hair always also comes mainly in the straight texture the natural straight texture or some might even refer to what for it, to it as the bone straight hair but whereas the Vietnamese hair Vietnamese men tend to have straight hairs and slightly wavy hair texture so most times when you're buying chinese raw hair you just find that most chinese most of the chinese raw hair tends to come in a straight form and to get the body wave texture it's just um, um steam steamed to get that body wave texture for the chinese raw hair i think the same thing also applies for the vietnamese hair to get like the wavy texture or the body wave texture it's also like steam process to get um, those coilier texture but in most cases Vietnamese and Chinese women tend to have straight hair which varies in colors from the natural black color to the um, browns and chestnut brown to honey blonde colors and take note the Chinese raw hair has a lifespan of 5 to 10 years whereas the Vietnamese baby thin hair because this hair was actually cut from really young babies not really young babies like really young girls this Vietnamese baby thin hair has a longer lifespan but if I was to compare the lifespan of the regular Vietnamese hair like the bone straight Vietnamese hair or the natural straight Vietnamese hair I would say that okay these two hair have almost the same life lifespan because not almost the same the Chinese raw hair is definitely going to last longer than the Vietnamese, um, the Vietnamese hair because the, um, the Chinese raw hair, the texture of the Chinese, Chinese raw hair is more coarse, while the Vietnamese raw hair is more of is slightly softer than the um, the Chinese raw hair. So if I was getting, uh, let's say, twelve years use out of the Chinese raw hair, I'll probably be getting somewhere around ten years out of the Vietnamese raw hair. Another thing about um, that makes the Chinese raw hair differ from 
um, differ from the Vietnamese um, raw hair is that the Chinese raw, the Vietnamese raw hair can be categorized as single drawn, double drawn, and super double drawn. Whereas the Chinese raw hair just comes as straight hair. There's no category. It doesn't have double drawn, super double drawn, and you know single drawn. It's just straight hair straight raw hair whereas vietnamese has single drawn double drawn super double drawn and then you also see um things like higher grades like the vietnamese baby thin hair which is actually cut from younger girls and for that reason the texture is softer and smoother and is actually much more healthy than the hairs which are cut from the older vietnamese women so which of these two hairs are more affordable is the chinese raw hair more affordable than the vietnamese baby thin hair or double drawn hair so definitely the chinese raw hair is actually more affordable than the vietnamese baby thin hair because the chinese raw hair is more i don't know it's it's just more the it's more it's more available for that reason it makes it more affordable unlike the vietnamese baby thin hair or the vietnamese raw hair the vietnamese raw hair is definitely much more expensive than the chinese raw hair the one thing i like to say about the chinese closures is chinese closures are more expensive than vietnamese closures so it's a case of by the time you are trying to think that okay you're trying to save money buying raw hairs from china you now end up finding out that the closures the chinese closures are very expensive so the same money you're trying to avoid spending you end up spending the same amount of money when you're buying like the closures and front house and all but quality wise like which of these two hairs do i like i absolutely love the vietnamese baby thing here and i also like the chinese raw hair when i say i like why well, I, I have like a love like relationship with the chinese raw hair because i know that by the time i bleach this hair and put a new color i would definitely love the turnout of this hair because i know this hair can take it and the thing about the chinese raw hair is when you bleach chinese raw hair and color it that is when you start to appreciate the chinese raw hair more you would definitely love a Chinese raw hair. So if you haven't tried a Chinese raw hair before, because I'm actually saying this thing from experience, because I have um, Chinese raw hair that I bought from five years ago. Now after I bleached this hair to a blonde, I wore this hair for for like two three years. Then I later colored it to a green color, and I still kept on rocking this hair. So <laughs> the Chinese raw and it stays straight. Once you just style the Chinese raw hair to be straight, it's actually low maintenance. It won't stress you. So if you can get your hands on Chinese raw hair, please do. Please do. As much as it might not look its best right here in its form. When you style the hair, you color it or you know, whatever thing you choose to do to it, you absolutely love this hair because it's going to stand the test of time and it's not prone to tangling. Chinese raw hair is not prone to tangling at all. Yeah. And I think the same thing also applies for the Vietnamese raw hair because it's also not prone to tangling. Just that the Chinese raw hair is more affordable than the Vietnamese raw baby thin hair. So guys, those are the basic differences between these two hair types. If you got value out of this video, please make sure you give the video a huge thumbs up. Share with your friends who are also going to get value out of this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you that has just been watching my videos, sharing them with your friends, and you're just supporting me while I'm on this my <laughs> YouTube journey. Thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate and I'll catch you in my next upload. So... Remember, we both have courage of a positive life. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, darling. Shop the Divine Collection from ENL Beauty. This is our limited collection. Order it right now from our website www.enlbeautyng.com.